You're watching Fox 47 News at 10. Your Storm Shield forecast, only on Fox 47 News. Well, the first weekend of summer, check. But Caleb, it was definitely a hot one, that's for sure. Oh yeah, it was a little too hot. Yesterday <laughs> was definitely too hot. Today we we're on the warmer side, also kind of muggier out there with higher dew points. Uh, right now we're cooling off a little bit. Our temperature is at 72 degrees. We are contending with a good deal of overhead clouds right now. Expect those to kind of clear as we move through the overnight hours. Here is the Almanac today. Our high was 86 degrees, so about 6 degrees above the average. The low followed suit there. That was about 10 degrees above average. We should be in the upper 50s, and we got only down to the upper 60s today. Our high was still a far cry from the uh, record of 98 degrees set back in 1988. Here's the temperatures for right now across our region. We are looking at 66 degrees in Elma, Elma 71 in Owasso, 72 in Lansing, 70 in Charlotte, and then 68 degrees in Marshall and down there in uh, cold water as well. Here's the satellite and the radar. You can see we have all kinds of cloud cover right now. We did have some showers moving through. Looks like Lenaway County down there. I expect those to kind of fizzle out as we move through the next couple of hours. Again, setting up mostly or partly cloudy uh, night for us. If you zoom out here, you can see we have a couple of cold fronts. That first one moved through already. That second one is approaching from the west, looking to move through Monday night into Tuesday. That one is going to be more potent, bringing uh, heavier rainfall and stronger thunderstorms to mid Michigan Monday night through uh, the day on Tuesday. Let's go ahead and uh, time the forecast out for you. So as we move through the overnight hours, again, we start off with uh, overcast skies. We turn mo uh, partly cloudy. One thing to note is where we did have that rainfall today, we have a lot of moisture lingering at the surface. So I think we see patchy fog develop, especially in our southern counties, again, where that rain fell. Tomorrow morning, we start off with a mix of sun and clouds. My wife and I are celebrating our one-year anniversary. We'll be up at Higgins Lake. I think tomorrow is a pretty nice day. Uh, at least moving through the day, we have a mix of sun and clouds. It's not until the late afternoon where we do see some showers and storms start to pop up. But again, the better chance for those showers and storms comes Monday night into Tuesday morning as that cold front approaches. And some of these storms could be on the stronger side. So certainly keep your eye to the sky and pay attention to our forecast tomorrow as well. And then those showers and storms do linger through the day on Tuesday. So I think Tuesday looks like more of a washout, but we do kind of need that rainfall. So uh, we'll get we'll certainly get our fair share of it. Let's go ahead and show you how the temperatures are looking like they're going to unfold as we move through the overnight hours. We'll cool off a little bit. We'll see lows fall into the 60s. So a cool start to the day tomorrow will warm up though into the mid 80s. So another warm one for us for perspective. We should be at 80 degrees for a seasonable this time of the year and we'll be once again in the mid 80s. So well above seasonal. It's going to be uh, humid as well. Look at these dew points, how they will unfold. We'll see those climb through the day through the 60s. When you have those dew points in the 60s, that indicates a pretty oppressive air mass as it gets closer to 70, which is what we'll be contending with through the day tomorrow. Here is the temperature trend. So we'll get to 86 degrees tomorrow, but behind that cold front, as I said, it's a pretty potent one. So behind that, we'll see those temperatures fall off into the 70s. So it'll be seasonably cool Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So seasonably cool. We'll still be in the 70s so on the warmer side still, but it's not until Friday when we warm back up a little bit above seasonable 82 uh, Friday and Saturday, and then 84 by Sunday. That's paving the way for, well, here we go, another stretch of above average temperatures to wrap up the month of June heading into the first uh, week of July. Here's a forecast for tonight, 64 for a low becoming partly cloudy with some patchy fog for tomorrow, a high of 86, partly sunny, PM thunderstorms possible but again late in the afternoon, south southwest wind at 5 to 10. Here's a seven day forecast. So the showers and storms linger with us on Tuesday. Wednesday and Thursday look like nice days, a lot of sunshine, but we'll see a chance for thunderstorms in the afternoon. For Friday, we start off partly sunny. We'll see rain developing late in the day, and then those showers and storms continue on Saturday. Again, a warmer weekend next weekend with a lot of rainfall. Cool.